everybody on YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how you can use Windows Movie Maker 2.6 with Photo Gallery. You see I've processed the film to Photo Gallery and then I go to Windows Movie Maker 2.6 and I go to import video. Sadly this doesn't have capture from video device, only that. Except these you can still use. Yeah. The demonstration I'm going to show you goes like this. You click on import video and you'll find the whole film separate. It's a bit different to Windows Movie Maker 2.1. This is from Photo Gallery, the film and others. I've clicked on the film picture. I'll click import. And there you go. This is what you can do in the near future when you lose the 2.1 version. My mistake. Over here is the old XP computer. I've been using that for years and used to do eBay shopping but it's going to the tip. Down at the back there's a slot where I took out the first Firewire cable card. That was when I had some issue problems with the second one. The first two thousands were the era when the XP would be made. XP's today aren't useful anymore because if you do eBay shopping on XP's that are about to be helpless there's a hacker that can invade your computer that's all I have to tell you about the changes of computers and using new programs with old ones just so you can stick with the old method. If you're watching this V West Life, I hope you can comment about how I managed because when I looked at your past film you used the XP computer and upgraded it to the Internet Explorer I've got a Windows XP DVD with the words Service Pack 3. You used that, but you don't anymore now that you have a computer that is new. And I looked at another past film about when you used a 2001 Video 8 camera 
I've got some news to tell you. I used mine as well, which I brought from the UK, but I don't anymore. Because I'm sticking with this 90s camera.